Last week, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jane Rutha Cheng, was present as five health workers who had recovered from Ebola were discharged from the isolation center in Entebbe Waxo district. Acheng said UVRI has been supporting the Ministry of Health since early 2000 when Uganda experienced the first major Ebola outbreak, but patient care has been the responsibility of the ministry, hence the need to develop capacity. The reason why we seem to be having a rift is that since we started having Ebola from the year 2000 up to now, we would have expected that capacity would have been built countrywide. But we don't see that taking place. Even when capacity has been built in CPHL, UVRI still wants to continue in a research mode. Also last week, news reports indicated that the ministry had refused the UVRI staff to collect samples for Ebola testing in Movende Hospital and that this would be done by the Central Public Health Laboratories. So if you're only running research and you're not helping me to do patient care, it becomes very challenging on our part. So that is why we said if you want to do research, you write a letter, we will share with you the samples. But for now, patient care first. UVRI Director Professor Poshano Kalebu said a meeting on Friday restored the party's partnership. And we agreed on moving forward and the UVRI is back, is testing. Uh, many samples are coming from Kampala. Uh, they also it continues to be the reference lab uh, to support the mobile lab. Kalebu also revealed that their team has been allowed to work in Movende to support the Ministry of Health. Uh, to support the mobile labs in terms of uh, capacity building, training, but also to continue with the quality control and quality assurance so that we do a good job. Kalebu spoke at the unveiling of a new virology laboratory supported by the U.S. government. So the launch of the lab today is just another step in that partnership to strengthen collaboration in the partnership, to build capacity, uh, among Ugandan researchers and scientists as they respond to some of the endemic threats, health threats that are here in the country. As of yesterday, the cumulative number of Ebola cases stands at 60. Kamana Ivan Walnyolo, NTV, Inetewe.